Welcome back to the PenGSE EdCast. It's been a year since a catastrophic magnitude 7 earthquake struck Haiti, just outside the capital of Port-au-Prince, leaving an estimated quarter million people dead and probably another million homeless. About six months after the earthquake, Sharon Ravitch, a senior lecturer here at Penn GSE, who's experienced in international educational development, traveled to Haiti to see what our university might be able to do to assist in educational redevelopment after the disaster. During the trip, she met with Kreutzer Metzirin, a senior leader at the Haitian Ministry of Education, who's been largely responsible for bringing together Haiti's post-earthquake education reconstruction plan. Sharon has since been named a senior international advisor to the ministry, and Maturin came to Philadelphia just a few weeks ago to formalize the ministry's relationship with Penn and to meet with others at the university who might be interested in the emerging partnership. I had a few minutes to talk to Maturin and Ravitch during their busy day of meetings. So welcome. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Thank you. Um, It's a pleasure to be with you. I'd like to start, actually, by hearing just a little bit from you about your interest in the University of Pennsylvania. It emerged, from my understanding, from a, a meeting that you had with Sharon um, when she came down to Haiti. What are your goals for the partnership? What are you thinking about when you enter into this relationship with Sharon and the University of Pennsylvania? Okay, I can tell you uh, first, when, uh, when we have the first meeting with Sharon, we didn't think about that. But uh, it's through the exchange Uh, I had with Sharon through the mail, we realized that uh, there is something there that corresponds to what we are looking for. We have been looking for a partner to accompany the minister through the implementation of the new plan of education. And uh, I can tell you the reason why we are looking for an institution, because we have already experienced what does that mean going with a firm, consultant firm and having people coming and tell you they know something. And when you are in a process of reform of doing new things that you don't know and you never did before, you need people that can take the, the distance, the necessary distance and help people involved in the action to realize and to evaluate what they have been doing or what they are doing, how they can readjust what they have to do. And sometimes we have to readjust the objective. And you can do that just by discussion um, between a civil servant. But you need an outside per- perspective. But the outside perspective can come from an expert who have been reflecting and working on that matter, not from a consultant. That does not mean Uh, I have no favor for the consultant. It's to what we have to do. It's not the kind of uh, assistance we are looking for. First, what we are looking now is a long-term uh, assistance. It's not a question you can help negotiate that with a firm. The firm work on very short-term period, and you should understand that. And what we all already experience in the past, sometimes we need uh, uh, another type of expertise, but the film does not have this expertise. So where you think you can uh, find it? <laughs> University right. institution. And this is one uh, aspect. Uh, there is another aspect. Uh, we we are planning to create a higher education institution and a research institution. I have in, indicated to Mrs. Sharon our main objective is first to uh, develop a partnership with Graduate School of Education. And secondly, as what we have to do does not only imply education, they imply other aspects of uh, a reform because uh, we are planning to set up other institution university and we will need other uh, competence at the university. That is on why we think at a, a second 
phase. I said phase, but that could be at the same level, at the same time. Okay, we will need to develop a partnership with the whole institution. But why we also say the whole institution? You know, when you have different partners and they come, that's a lot to do. How we are going to coordinate that? So that's the reason why we think with one partner taking the lead, we can do a better job than trying to coordinate that on the top of what we have to coordinate. Just so I have a clearer picture in my head. Yeah. Tell me about your priorities now for education development. Where are we in the wake of the, the earthquake in the midst of a cholera epidemic? Are you working from what you would consider to be almost a state of nothing to create a new reality for education in Haiti? Or are you trying to, or is the core of your education plan to improve on best practices that are already in place, institutions that are already in place, partnerships that are already in place, or are you thinking of this as a new day? No, it's a new day. But we are not doing that from scrap. Uh, something does exist. We are going to build on that, but not to build on what has been in the past. That's the reason why I said it's a new day. Yeah. How about infrastructure on the ground in Haiti, educationally? The the state of schools, the state of schooling? 80% of the infrastructure has been destroyed. Yeah. So And the ministry has collapsed. So we have to rebuild uh, everything. But uh, we can count on the determination of the people. And your priorities for the new day now? I mean, the things that you need to concentrate on with the, with the most energy right now are what? Oh, set up. Education specifically. Yes, in education. Okay. As the, our main focus is uh, the implementation of the plan. And uh, the, for the implementation of the plan, we have, uh, we have targeted a national institute for, uh, for studies and research in education. This institute will oversee the implementation of the plan. So we have to start with by putting it in place. That's the main uh, idea I have exchanged to Mrs. Sharon, and uh, we are going to work on that. And uh, also I can tell you this institution will uh, uh, coordinate all the effort about the plan on the level of expertise and uh, something else on the strategical level. The institution and the collaboration with uh, other units of the university and uh, helping us in uh, fundraising. Because the plan, the plan, That's very smart. <laughs> the plan That's very smart. estimation is 4.3 billion. We already have other bilateral and multilateral partners that has commit themselves to participate in the financing, but it's not enough. And uh, we should go uh, with a fundraising strategy. But the important aspect of the fundraising strategy, uh, you should understand it's, it's concerned Haiti. And Haiti has not the image and the credibility to say it's going to raise money from people or foundation abroad. So we need people with credibility and with the know-how and that can help us to do that and that can help us to manage very well what we will receive and get the result. So Sharon, let me turn to you for a second. Um, I, I know you're in the middle of a packed day of conversation and a lot of this stuff is emerging even as we speak about it now, but what do you think you're getting yourself into here? <laughs> Gertrude's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> well, um, I think from from my perspective, first of all, even so far, uh, developing this partnership with Kreutzer in the Ministry of Education has been a profound learning and growing experience for me yeah. professionally. So part of what I'm getting myself into is a lot of learning from them about the kinds of things they're doing on the ground and their expertise and funds of knowledge. Um, and that's a big part of what I'm getting out of it. As for what I'm getting myself into, so to speak, uh, 
you know, Kutzer and I have talked about this, that it has to be, it necessarily must be a long-term commitment. And so that's a long-term commitment between the two of us as individuals and then as representatives of our uh, respective institutions. And so institutionally, how long of a commitment are we talking about now? That's what we, that's what's emerging. I think what, yeah. what will, you know, GSE and the broader pen community uh, formalize. But I, I think that what we are developing, what's emerging is a sense that it will not only be pen GSE and the broader pen community's role in this Institute and its satellite uh, institutions uh, in in terms of taking an advisory role, perhaps a professional development and training role, uh, but it will also be co- contributing to the conceptualization and enactment of leadership development at various levels. So ministry of education level, school director level, student level, community level, um, at those various levels. And the specifics of that are, are things that we're ironing out, but we know that those are two of the pillars Um, And the third, I would say, which we've spoken less about, but we both know will be uh, underneath all of this, is evaluation. How do we engage in systematic evaluation of our efforts as we do them, as we conceptualize them, develop them, enact them? We need to be assessing them so that we know from a data-based way that what we're doing is effective, useful, meaningful in uh, both qualitative and quantitative terms. And so my sense is that those are the the biggest pieces, with the last piece being my serving in the capacity as a coordinator, both of the uh, various people across the university who are engaged in Haiti or want to be engaged in Haiti, but then also broader uh, international commitment from a variety of institutions of higher education and perhaps NGOs as well. We just sat in a meeting with people from all across the university who are engaged uh, engaged and thinking about being engaged in Haiti. And so I really do think the moment is now. It's a formidable task, but I, it's it's much less formidable than what <laughs> our brothers and sisters in Haiti are doing. The The passion of, of Kreutzer and colleagues, um, Jackie Lamarck and others, is what I think will inspire those of us at Penn to realize how much more capacity we have than we think we have, right? We think we're busy. But the reality is we we can and should be a lot busier in the service of these kinds of projects. Good luck to you. Thank you for your time. (laughs) Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, Give me this opportunity to explain what I'm looking for. The Penn GSE EdCast is a production of the University of Pennsylvania's Graduate School of Education. I'm Tom Ketchkamethi. To find out more about this project and others, visit www.gse.upenn.edu. Thanks for downloading.